Shoot. Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and um, I totally forget what page, oh, I'm on page six. <laughs> I'm building out of order, so I'm having a hard time keeping up. So this is page six. So the first half of this video is very short because I forgot to hit the record button on installing the flaps in the pockets. I did run banners for the sizes and a little ticker tape that told you when I left the room and came back that it was all magically installed. But I am going to go over the measurements one more time. So the belly band is two and a half by nine. You're going to score a half inch on either end. Both of the flaps are four and a half by eight. You're going to score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. You need two of those. Then you're going to do two pockets. These pockets are five inches wide by four and a half inches deep. You're going to score a half inch and four and a half rotate and then score half inch. So when you're finished, you're gonna have a four by four pocket. Okay, now we're ready to go. Sorry about, um, you could tell the other day I was having <laughs> I was having one of those days. This is from the eight by eight collection. This is gonna go on the, the top of the pocket. It is from the Patterns and Solids. Yeah, and so let's go ahead and get started, get some of this stuff done. <clears throat> At first I saw this pattern, I didn't care for it, and I think the issue was I didn't like the scale on the 12 by 12. I do like the scale on the eight by eight. I think it's kind of fun. But in the 12 by 12, especially if you're only covering a four inch uh, panel, it seemed just huge. So, problem solved, go to the eight by eight. Uh, also, these two edges are from uh, the Patterns collection. And those edges, I didn't tell you this, the, ed the uh, strips are one inch and both panels are gonna be inset from the edge of the pocket page, three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch, just like um, page three. Just like page three. Okay, I'm trying not to get my head so much in the video, but we'll see. Ugh. I thought I inked everything while I was away, but I didn't. Hope everybody's doing good. San Diego, what is it? June 21st. 
and we are we are officially in summer here. The weather turned between the uh, the 18th and today, and it's quite warm. Quite warm. I took my dog for a walk this morning, um, and even the dog didn't want to walk. She turned us around uh, roughly at our halfway point. We usually try to get two miles in. Right around a mile, she's like, okay, time to go home. <laughs> which is okay with me. I, I like the walk, but it was quite warm. She's not a very social dog, so I wind up walking her a little bit later when everybody else in the neighborhood is done. And that's kind of nice because I don't have to deal with her being ugly at other dogs, but the bad news is it's quite a bit warmer. Again, this green is from the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. And I cut them a little bit too short. I usually like it to go inside the pocket a little, and um, I got a little crazy on uh, on doing that. Now, inside each of the pockets is a three and seven eighths by seven and a half inch insert. Three and seven eighths by seven and a half. Now, this is from the eight by eight collection pack. So is this, and this charmed. Uh, I think it's also from. But let's check. Mm, that's not it. I think it's also from the 8x8 collection pack, but it's just a, a strip out of one of the papers. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. I think it, nope, that's not it. Charmed. Nope, it's from the 12x12, 12 12, from the 12x12. 12 12. So I just uh, cut out the charmed and I left that little um, strip on top of it. So it's the charmed plus this. I just like the way it broke it up. So you're going to need two of those. Again, three and seven eighths by seven and a half. Okay. On the inside, we're going to use this stripe, which came from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Now I've got these pumpkins, which came from the 8x8 collection pack, and then this is the patterns and solids. And I think I'm gonna go this way. In fact, I'm sure I'm gonna go this way. And I did ink this, so that's good. So we have picked up some new subscribers, yay! And I've gotten a couple of comments, so I just want to talk a little bit about that while I'm doing this boring part gluing. Um, if you're new to our channel, the way we organize our projects is into a playlist. Um, and the playlist is named for the paper collection. Although I'm thinking about creating a new series of playlists that are by size. Um, I haven't really decided yet, but I think I might do that. And then another playlist that's by uh, paper brand. So all the Graphic 45 albums in a playlist that you can... The problem is it doesn't let you nest a playlist. I can't have Graphic 45 and then all the playlists for, for Graphic 45. It It's not quite that sophisticated. So anyways, I'm thinking about doing a couple of different things to make it easier for you to figure out um, what the size of the album is before you dive into the playlist. Um, but the, right now, the, the point is, right now, they're organized by the paper collection. Um, now, once you, once you find the playlist for Charmed, as you look at the individual videos that make the project, um, you'll see in the title uh, that it is Graphic 45. It'll say Graphic 45 Charmed. It's just not in the playlist descript description or title. Once you click on Show All in the playlist, um, you, a series of videos is going to come up and the first video is uh, the walkthrough of the project so you can take a look at it it's very rarely more than 15 minutes walks through the features of the album 
The next video is the base album build. So it's just the album and its pocket pages, album, spine, hinge, pocket pages. And then the subsequent videos are adding the elements that make that album unique to the paper collection, like the flaps, pockets, belly bands, stuff like that, as well as the designer paper that's being used. So that's how all our projects are organized. We have uh, quite a few projects out there uh, completed. The way I release, instead of releasing one page at a time, I release the whole album at once. So typically um, I'll release it and there'll be roughly eight videos associated with it. I break up my videos based on page. So you don't ever have to go to the middle of a video to try to find where page two starts. So each one will have a unique page identifier in the title. And then the other thing I have is what's called a build. And a build it represents, the page represents the sequence in the book. Build represents the sequence I actually consumed the designer paper in. So both of those pieces of information I think are valuable to have, and it was actually a viewer who, who recommended that I indicate, you know, when I was building the page, because in the, especially in the case of Graphic 45, I very rarely build it in page sequence. And part of that is because I'm distributing pattern. When you look at Chow Bala, Stamparia, and Blue Fern, and some of the other collections that we carry, they don't have, um, they don't have repeat pages, typically. So it's a pack of 10 and every page is unique. So I'm not trying to distribute that pattern like I do with Graphic 45. So in Graphic 45, um, eight by eight you get, I think it's three, yeah, three of the same pattern. And then in the 12 by 12, you get two of the same pattern. So I wanna make sure it's distributed across the album. And again, that's pretty unique to Graphic 45 uh, at the moment. So I just wanted to give you guys some tips on how to navigate and get the most out of the channel that you can. We are approaching 22,000 subscribers. I wanna thank each and every one of you that take the time to click on subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified. We do try to get um, projects out every couple of weeks and, and really trying hard this year to ramp up and get a few more out. And one of the ways I'm doing that is by doing like a large project like this, eight by 10, and then a smaller project like I did um, about a week ago, I did um, Seaside Escape, which was a Mente collection, which was six by six, so it's a much faster process. So I'm gonna try to do a large, small, large, small, go back and forth so that I can get a little more content out, and keep you guys uh, happy. Uh, again, thanks so much for subscribing. We really appreciate it. But what really matters is that you view our tutorials and take a minute to come on over to our shop and see if there's anything there that's interesting to you. So again, thanks for tuning in. This is page six. I'm gonna pull in page seven so you can see how these work together. Isn't that lovely? That's the two page spread that'll be in the book. So that's it for page six. I'll be back soon. Hey guys, I'm back and I forgot to do the insert for this page. So I was taking some pictures and I realized when I opened it up, I hadn't done an insert. So, um, oops, turned on. Sorry, um, accidentally turned something on my computer. Um, so here's what I did. So this is from the uh, 12 by 12 collection pack. And this is actually the flip side of that, but it's from the eight by eight. So this is the eight by eight and the sides are from the 12 by 12. So you can see the difference in the scale. You could just have used an eight by eight and flipped the strips over. However, having said that, it wouldn't match the same scale as the strips that we had already installed. So that's it. And this um, insert is the same as page three, and it is seven and three quarters by seven and one eighth. Seven and three quarters by seven and one eighth. Each one of the strips on the side is one inch wide. Okay, now I'm done with page six.